Hello, this is Xavier with XDTutorials.com and today we're going to be going over palettes. Palettes are extremely useful when you're working on a project over an extended period of time. It helps you remember the different color schemes that you use. Um, it's also very helpful if you're creating textures for multiple organizations. It uh, allows you to create palettes for each organization or each different theme in order to go back to later on if you get a new project or something like that. So if you don't already have the palettes dialog tab open, all you do is click on configure this tab, go down to add tab, and then click on uh, palettes. The palettes that are already preloaded, they're kind of a mismatch of different things. Some of them are kind of neat. The only one that I found myself ever really using was this web 216. It basically has all the web safe colors, uh, so essentially if you use one of these colors, there's a very good likelihood that anybody in the world looking at your website uh, is going to be able to display that color exactly how it appears on your screen when you use it. So uh, that's kind of a helpful uh, palette for those of you who are web designers. So to create a new uh, palette, it's not the most intuitive thing, but um, what you do is you go down to the Create New Palette button. Creates a new palette. You can name it anything you want to name it. To add your very first color, what you need to do is go to the Configure This Tab button, go to the Palette Editor menu, and then click on New Color from Foreground. After this point, you should be able to drag in, drag and drop in any color that you want to into the palette. Um, on my screen for this tutorial, my drag and drop uh, tends to fail because the screen recorder is using up so much memory, but normally that's all you have to do. Click right on the foreground color, bring it down here, the arrow, wherever it's pointing at, it should plug it in uh, exactly there. So, But for this tutorial, I have to add it and do just like that. Now another feature about the palette editor, that's the box that actually opened up here, that might come up as a third window for you. Um, if you want it in your regular tabs, you can just drag and drop the tab into your dialog tab area. But in the window ed editor, there's a couple other um, features that are kind of nice. Down in columns, the default is zero, and you'll just get a big line like that. Any color that you haven't assigned already is going to be black. But you can actually increase this column. And if I do two or three, something like that, you'll see that you get a little bit bigger view of all these different colors. You can also hit the plus sign. That's going to make the color selection a lot bigger. It's helpful when you have kind of crazy colors like this bears um, to either increase the size or decrease the size dependent on you know how many colors there are or put them all in one list like that or just a couple different boxes just to make it a little less confusing for you. The other nice thing with palettes is after you create them you can actually right click on them and you can sort the colors. So if you go down to sort palette you'll have a pop-up box and you can actually sort the colors based on different options that you set in here and I'll just let you kind of play around with those to uh, see kind of how it sorts it for you. The other nice feature with palettes is that you can actually import them from a picture. So again, if I right click and I go to import palette, a dialog pops up and I can click on image. And now all these colors are what is showing up in my image here. Okay. Now you can kind of edit this list of different colors right now. You'll see this interval. If you increase this interval, you're going to get more and more colors um, until you get big and then it, it decreases the numbers. Okay. Columns you can adjust. That's the same as in the editor with the different columns you can decide. Number of colors you can limit that or increase that to your liking. Okay. And you can rename it to testing of the colors. Okay. So I'm going to increase this back. Okay. And then you just hit import. And now you have your new palette that was generated from your image. 
So that's really helpful for, say, let's say you have an image and you're like, oh, I really love the colors in here. You can actually create a palette out of it and then use it for your next project or something like that without having to drag and drop all your different colors into the palette. So to use palettes is actually as easy as creating them. You just double click on the palette that you want to use and then you'll have the palette come up. If you click on a color, it's going to change your foreground color to whatever color you click on. If you hold down your control key and click on a color, it's going to change your background color to whatever color that you clicked on. So again, if you click on a color, it's going to change the foreground. If you hold down control and click on a color, it's going to do the background. Okay. So to use the palette, all you need to do is let's create a new image and let's fill in that image with white or let's just use our background color of blue here. I'm going to grab a paintbrush. This one's good. Go back to my palette and open up a color and just paint away. So real simple to use the palettes. You just click on colors. It's going to automatically assign it to your foreground. And then if you did want to make a background, you just hold down control. So like that. So I hope you enjoyed watching that you learned a lot about palettes. And if you like this video, feel free to like it or subscribe to it. Or leave a comment. I love hearing what you guys have to say and to hear about how you use these videos in your day-to-day -day projects. Have a wonderful day and take care.